take a look at the person locator in Student Manager. There's two ways to bring up the person locator. The first way is to go up to Module, into Names, and down to Person Locator. But you also notice that there's a shortcut key, the F5 key. So at any time, you can bring up the person locator by clicking F5. The person locator allows us to search many different ways when we don't have enough information to just find it on the name screen. Uh, for example, maybe we only know the first name of the person. We can type in the first name of our customer and click the OK button and get a list of all the Johns, in our example, in our system. So here I've got two Johns in my system. If I didn't know the first name but knew they were from Manhattan, I could close this, click my F5 button again, and you'll notice that I could just search by city. So when I type Manhattan and click OK, that brings me up everyone that lives in Manhattan. So the Find person allows us to do some really heavy duty searching for people in our names record when we don't have enough information to go by. Once we bring up the names, we can go right into the record by double clicking on the record. So let's say I'm looking at Matthew here. I can double click and bring up his record on the screen and make the changes that I need to. When I click OK, I come right back out to the matching name screen and I can double click on another name and go into that one. To clear this screen, I can hit Escape or the red X button. I'm going to bring up the Find Person screen again by hitting F5. And I have some other options as well. You'll know, but notice by default, I send the output to the screen but I could export to a database file or to export to Excel. So by exporting to Excel, let's say I need to make a list of everyone that I have in my database, once again, that lives in Manhattan. So I type in the name Manhattan, and when I click OK, it brings up that list, and when I go to close, it's going to ask me if I want to export to Excel. And when I click Yes, it gives me a chance to save that file into my computer. I now have a copy of that file in my computer. If I was to go look at that file and bring it up, you will see I have a list of all those people that lived in Manhattan. Basically, I have the same list that I was looking for on the screen. Coming back in, let's take another look at the Find Person. If these fields I'm using for searching are not enough, I can go down and use a custom search. Basically, I can search for any string that's available in the name record. I can write a custom search, which some of you that are advanced users may be able to do. In my drop-down box here, I have an example. I'm going to use the, the example that's listed here, which is going to bring up anyone that has an interest in management classes. And once again, when I click OK, it brings up a list of everyone that had an interest in management classes. For more information on custom codes, you can talk to your technician and they can give you, a help, give you some help in writing some custom codes. That's all there is to it. Thank you.